Hello! Welcome to the fifth, I think, tutorial in the Make Wordle with Python tutorial series. Uh, last time we we'd figured out how to make sure that our words uh, showed up in a list in the way that we wanted them to, and I think we settled on using a truncated short list of words for the debugging portion of the rest of our program. So those words included error, apple, cruel, Ionic and pizza and those I think are a good list of words because they contain things like um, you know error contains three R's so that'll be a good test of what happens when there are repeat letters in a word how, how does the game behave Apple has repeat letters uh, pizza also so um, and they it gives us something random to shoot for here um, so to get started, what we're gonna—the last thing we did was we had it randomly choose a word and then print that word. We can continue to have it print that word. There's no harm in that since we're still creating and debugging the code. The next behavior we'll want to try to simulate would be to have the uh, the game ask us for a word, and then um, for that guess, you know, to we have some finite number of guesses in the game. We have six. So you're supposed to try to guess the word completely in six guesses. And I would like to accomplish that using a while loop. So to start, I'm actually going to do something where I'm going <clears> to <throat> take the word, the word we're supposed to guess, and recast it as a list of letters. And I just call that list word. And it's li just list and word. So we're taking those letters and turning them into a list. Next, we want to maybe give us a prompt to tell us to pr produce a guess. So we can print guess a five letter word. Okay, that's a nice print statement. Now we'll go ahead and invoke a, an empty string as our guess variable, and we'll just call that guess. G U E S S equals empty, empty string. So we have a we have a guess variable. We we want we're going to want to keep track of how many guesses we make and not have any more than six total guesses. So we can count you know num guesses equals zero so far, and maybe we'll make a counter variable equals one. All right. So then we could say while num guesses I'm using a tab complete there. Uh, is not equal to six, right? So six, we want the number of guesses to go up to six and then stop. Right now we have zero guesses. So while the number of guesses is not equal six, what do we want to do? We want to have an, uh, we want to have the, uh, ask for a new guess. So um, we'll say we'll do it this way. We'll redefine guess, and we'll say that guess equals input, which is how we get user input from this from the, the terminal. And we'll use an f string, and we'll say g u e s s um, counter. So we could have tried to been clever and made our counter and our number of guesses the same but so counter is going to be one right right now we're going to want to iterate counter after we make this guess right so we can we could go ahead and do that counter plus equals one and we'll probably want to iterate num guesses too num guesses plus equals one okay and that's actually a good place to make sure that our code does what we want it to do. So we can save this and bring up a terminal window. Python. Wordle. Not that. Wordle. 
error.py. All right, so the word is error. Guess a five letter word. Guess one. Um, how about error? Guess two. Um, Bobby. Guess three. Choke. Guess four. Um, tripe. Guess five. Pants. Guess six. Nets. Okay. So we've we've got the behavior we want. It's not very pretty. Um, so we can add some formatting things, right? We can add a colon and a space after our input that for the guess, right? To make it a little more attractive. So we could just say guess colon space. And now our guess, you know, will look a little bit better. But now we want to perform some actions, right? We need these guesses. Obviously, I guessed the word error and nothing happened because we got to put in some logic to tell it if we got the word right or not. So what what can we do to put in some of that logic? Well, we need to we need to think about what we want to happen, right? If the word if the letter we guess is in the right place, we want that letter to to show up as green. If the letter is in the word but not in the right place, we want it to show up as yellow. However, right, we need to take make sure that if there's two letters in the like for the word is error and there's three R's in the word, if we have an R in the wrong place, it should show up as yellow. The first R should show up as yellow if it's in the wrong place. If there's another R in the right place, it should still show up as green. And if there's a third R in the right place, it should also show up as green, but if it was in another wrong place, it should show up as yellow. If somehow we had four R's in the word, the fourth R should show up as gray because there aren't four R's in the word, right? So there's, there's a lot of logic that we want to tackle. So in order to keep some of these short, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to rerun this, but we'll stop here. And then in the next tutorial, we will add some of the logic that we need to make these guesses um, and compare them to the other words. So let's just run it one more time here. And now we have um, a much more attractive looking thing. Now, ugly isn't a word, but that's okay. All right, thank you for watching. And in the next one, we will start tackling more of this logic. So, stay tuned.